guys, welcome back to our channel. Today, I'm gonna take you guys door dashing with me. So I started door dashing over the summer. I was super bored and so I just felt like I needed an outlet. And as you guys know, I was really struggling with staying at home since we had been home since March. We're still home again. So I still door dash every now and again, just to get some extra cash. I have nothing else to do. I like it, it's fun, and it's a good way to earn some extra money. So um, I wanted to share with you guys a couple of the tips that I have, um, things that I've learned. I'm not the most experienced door dasher out there, um, but like I said, I did it over the summer, and then I do it every once in a while now. So, sorry if you can hear kids yelling, my neighbors are outside playing. Um, <laughs> so, my first tip is pretty basic, but it is to take a picture of your mileage when you get in your car. So you can write off your mileage when you do your taxes, when you get your, um, I think they do 1099s at DoorDash. I'm not sure, I haven't gotten mine yet. But you can write off your mileage. You can also write off your gas, but that's harder to track. So I would recommend doing your mileage to so you take a picture when you get in your car, take a picture of your mileage or write it down somewhere. I just take a picture because that's easier for me. Um, and I don't have to like, keep something in my car at all times to write with. Um, that way you can, then you can take a picture at the end of your DoorDasher shift, shift. Um, that way you can track your mileage. And I have a tracker that I use. I made it. It's super basic. I'll, I'll put a link down below so you guys can make a copy of it for yourself. There are tons out there. Um, I just did one because I wanted to track some specific things over the summer. And like I said, I have lots of time on my hands right now since we're working from home. So I wanted to track some specific things. <laughs> um, the next tip, it's pretty basic as well. Um, but unless this is like going to be your solid side hustle, like you're really going to go all in on this only DoorDash when there's promos. So they will give you an extra $1. Right now it's an extra $1.50. They'll give you an extra $2, $3, sometimes up to $5 um, per delivery when it's super busy. So like today, it's an extra $1.50 per delivery on top of the base pay, on top of the customer tip. So I only go out if there's a promo because otherwise it really isn't worth my time, especially since this is something I only do every once in a while. And honestly, $1.50 isn't that great. Um, I'm hoping that they'll up it because they have been lately, like at this time, it's about 5.30. Um, at this time, every night they are upping it so that, um, because they need more dashers out there. So I'm hoping that they do that today, but if it's only $1.50, that's cool with me too. Um, the next tips are maybe not something that other people have said. Um, but my first tip is to wear something that's red. So I'm just wearing like this red tie-dye shirt. Um, so I know that when I get DoorDash food, I'm always just weary of people coming to my house and it just kind of, I never know if the person coming to my house is an actual DoorDash person. So I like to wear red because red is the DoorDash color. I like to make sure that I have their food, even if it's like one thing, I like to carry it in the DoorDash bag because I know like as a DoorDash customer myself, I always feel better when there's something like signifying that they are a DoorDash person as opposed to some rando coming to your door. So that's something that I recommend. The next thing is also clothing involved. And for you ladies out there, if you guys have like athletic pants, yoga pants that have pockets, that is like key. So I like to put um, my, my ID and then the red card from DoorDash in one pocket, I like the side pocket, and I like to put my phone in the other. And then in like, you know how athletic pants have like the secret compartment, I like to put my car key in there because I have a push to start. And so instead of having to like carry my key in and out every time, I just stick it in the pocket. That way I can lock my car when I get out. And um, that way I always have my key on me and I don't leave my car running without my key. Um, Cause when I run into customers' houses, I just, I leave my car on, I drop it off and I come back. So someone can't drive away with my car if I have my key. So that's something that um, I've discovered recently. It's just super helpful to have athletic pants on. Um, that have pockets because then you don't have to have anything in your hands because especially like right now we have to wear a mask all of the time so definitely recommend that and then speaking of masks I always just have my mask on like this like I'll switch ears but I always just have it on like I never take it all the way off because you have to put it on when you go into the restaurants you have to put it on um, well you should put it on when you're delivering it up to a customer that way um, again it's just more comfortable when someone's wearing a mask and in case they open the door they don't feel uncomfortable so I always just have it on my ear, and then as I'm driving up to the customer's house, I'll put it on, grab their food, get out, and then have it hanging on my ear when I get back. And then my last tip is to bring some sustenance with you. So I'm bringing pretzel chips today. So I always like to bring just like a snack because I do get hungry smelling food for a long time, and then I always bring water. So I'm drinking this water bottle right now, but I also have my Hydro Flask 
with water in it um, because you get thirsty. And as you know, especially since that's a salty snack, I know that I'll get thirsty. That way you're not tempted to buy something from a restaurant or um, have to take a break and take from your dash time to get food. Um, but yeah, those are all the best tips that I have. I'm going to go ahead and get dashing. So I hope you guys enjoy kind of seeing what it's like um, for a mediocre, I don't want to call myself mediocre, but for someone who doesn't door dash often, I hope you guys enjoy seeing what it's like. Okay, so I just got my first order. It is $11 to deliver Panera 6.3 miles. Um, something else that I forgot to mention is that since I am a teacher, I don't door dash in the area in which I live because I'm terrified of delivering to one of my students' houses. <laughs> so I go one town over and I deliver there. But let's go grab this Panera. Okay, so that Panera order ended up being $15. So that was really nice, I got an extra tip. And then um, I just got another Panera order and a Chipotle order. Um, they're in the same parking lot and the houses are near each other. So I'm gonna go ahead and do both. Panera is $10.75 and then the extra Chipotle is $6.50. Horrible ending, but we're gonna deal with it. Um, I just finished a few more. I don't remember if I told you guys, but the one that I did for Panera and Chipotle, um, they were both late. So Chipotle was like popping. Like the line was so long for their in-person and they're um, they had like 80 orders online or something crazy like that. So they were both backed up. So I just texted both of the customers and I was like, hey, so-and-so is backed up. I will get there and I'll let you know when I'm on my way. Um, so that's, I mean, that's what I would suggest. Like if you, if, even if you don't think that you're gonna be that late, just text the customer and let them know um, because they appreciate just kind of knowing what's going on. Cause I do expect that the time that they're given is like the latest that their order will get there. Um, so I just always recommend texting them. And then the order after that, I did another Panera and then a Chili's. And that's it. So Panera's popping tonight. So I'm over, I always just come back to this area that I'm in. Um, Cause this area, this is the only really like the place to eat um, besides like driving 20 minutes. So I always, after I drop something off, um, I've gotten lucky tonight and I've gotten two double orders. Um, so I really like doing that because then I can knock out two for one on my one my way out. Um, but so far I've made 50 bucks, which is nice. Um, I was getting $2.50 per extra per delivery. Now I'm only getting a dollar per extra or a dollar 50 per delivery, um, which is still great. So um, we'll see how the night shakes out. Um, I'm assuming there's a little bit of a lull right now. It's 7.30. So I've been out for just under two hours. Um, so I'm assuming there's just a little bit of a lull right now. So we'll just kind of see what happens. I'm not really sure. Um, my goal is to, for the amount that I'm getting paid to be, to match the mileage or the mileage be below. So like, let's say it comes up with a $10 that I'll make, I'll make $10. If the mileage is like 11 miles, I don't take it. Even if it is 11 miles, I still don't take it. It's either $1 per mile or the mileage used to be less than what I'm getting paid. And that's just a hard rule that I've set for myself. Now, remember, I don't do this very often. So this isn't like my job. So those of you guys that DoorDash more often may want to take up more. Uh, I also don't do the Walmart grocery ones because uh, I take forever they're inconsistent and they really don't pay that well. So I don't do the Walmart grocery ones. Oh, I just got an order, BRB. Okay, I just picked up my last order. It happens to be from Chipotle. So I've had orders from Panera, Chipotle, and Chili's and Freddy's. And that's it. And they're almost in parking lot. So I just, I love this area. It's easy, the houses are near this area so I can come back real quick. Um, but it's about 8.30 and this last delivery is um, like out of the way to come back here. And so since it's 8.30 anyways, I'm gonna go drop this off and then go home and then we will look at my stats for the day. But I gotta get on this delivery. So I'll see you guys at home. Okay, so now I am back home. I'm gonna go ahead and fill out the data. So today is January. Oh, I guess I should put Thursday. Thursday, <laughs> January 14th. 
or my time in was 5.41 p.m. My time out was 8.41 p.m. So that just happened to be exact. I don't usually hit it exactly like that. I think it just happened to be that way. So it was exactly three hours. Um, I did eight deliveries. My mileage in was 80,252. And like I said at the beginning, it's important that you track this. That way um, you know what you can write off on your taxes because you can write off your mileage for DoorDash on your taxes. So I did a total of 83 miles. Um, and then I do like to separate out my DoorDash pay and my tip pay. So my DoorDash pay was $40.25. And then my tips were exactly $36. So today I made a total of $76.25. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that 76.25, where it's just for equals, um, 76.25 and divide it by my three hour time. So it's an average of 25.42 per hour. Now on my first hour, like I know I made $32 the first hour. Um, so it was a great hour. And then my second hour, like I told you guys, it was a little bit slower because both Panera and Chipotle were behind. So my goal is to get $25 an hour um, minimum. So I hit that, which is great. And then the city, I'm going to leave blank for now just for you know security purposes. And then there was a promo. So I click that. And then I just like to right click and add a note to remind myself of what the promo was. So from when I started at 5.41 p.m., to 7 30 p.m there was actually a promo of two dollars and fifty cents extra per delivery and then from seven oh no i think it was seven o'clock actually yeah it was seven o'clock seven and then from seven o'clock to 8 41 p.m when i ended it was an extra dollar fifty so I just add that note just to kind of remind myself what the promos were. So that is my data. Now my goal is to always have um, my pay be $1 per mile traveled or pretty close to that. Now remember, this is my mileage from when I was at my house to when I got home to my house. So I didn't drive 83 miles door dashing. I drove 83 miles driving from my house to the area, then door dashed, then drove back home because you can count all of the miles, which is pretty sweet. Um, so I drove round trip from my house back to my house, 83 miles. So um, I'm assuming it's probably about five miles there, five miles back. So overall, I think I made about $1 per mile during the DoorDash, which is awesome. I'll take that for sure. That is all that I have for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed um, me taking you guys along on my journey with DoorDash. If you guys are interested, like I said, I have my, I'll have the link to the product or not the product. It's free. I'm going to give it to you guys for free. Um, the Google sheet that I use and then also my DoorDash referral link. If you guys do want to join DoorDash, I highly recommend it. I really liked it so far. Um, so if you guys are interested, make sure you guys check it out. Even if you just check it out once and it's not your thing. Um, as a teacher, I like it because it gives me flexibility. I can do it whenever I want. I'll make $25 an hour. I can make $25 an hour tutoring, um, which is usually what I do, but just right now during the pandemic, people aren't usually having people in their homes for tutoring. Um, so this is a great alternative. You can do it on the weekends, during fall break, spring break, winter break, during the summertime. It's super flexible. So I'm going to go ahead and get to bed. I'm super tired. So I will see you guys next time. Bye.